Hello everybody, welcome to our next tutorial. So today I'm going to be telling you how I was able to get my studio featured just about a year ago. So this, it wasn't, it wasn't even that hard of a process to do, okay? Like, it was super easy and I pretty much had to do nothing to get it. Now, getting a studio feature doesn't just mean, oh yeah, followers for me, you know, all that kind of stuff. It, it's more of you get to create your own little community in Scratch, which is exactly what I did. And it's still really active to this day, as you can see. Um, it's sure not as much active, but we're still getting people adding projects, commenting, talking with each other and stuff like that. And so that's what I really like to see. And so here is pretty much what happened. So I created this project, or not project, studio called Pixel Productions, right? So, you know, um, and pretty much it was um, a studio where people get to add their, you know, pixel projects and stuff like that. And we just talk about all these different pixel games and like what our favorites are and all that kind of stuff. So it was an interactive studio. Okay. And so the description is pretty basic. It tells you how to join. Um, we credit the thumbnail creator. Um, let's see what else. We have some rules so okay so obviously the description of the studio doesn't actually say what the studio is about anymore used to it did it was saying that you know the we were talking about how pixel games pretty much were the beginning of games in general and you know without them there wouldn't really be any of the games we have today and so pretty much that got a lot of people interested but um, I think somebody, somebody submitted it to Scratch Team or something like that, um, to be featured. And so, what the Scratch Team is looking for when they, you know, try to feature a studio, is they look for something that can be interactive. You know, something that people aren't just going to sit there and have projects to, but something that people are also going to, you know, talk in, you know? They want people to engage and interact with the studio more, more than just, you know, adding projects. Um, and so that's exactly what this was. It pretty much um, allowed people who had similar interests in games to all come together and talk about those games and add some of their games that they made similar to those. And there are hundreds of games on here that are all pixel and all of them are really good games see like we got these super mario remake type stuff all of this they're all super good games um so if you are into pixel games and you're like oh i wish i see more pixel games on scratch well say less because here you go we got all the pixel games you can imagine um but yes so pretty much when you're trying to get a studio featured you want it to be interactive you know you don't want it to just be about getting it featured you want it to actually be about creating something big on scratch that you know can affect a lot of people in a positive way because i didn't even plan to get it featured honestly i just had it made and you know it was just me and my friends on here and then a couple other people joined i think which they were probably the ones who proposed it to be featured and then that's when we got 3,899 some followers on there. We have even more curators and stuff on here too. Like the list, there's a, a big list. Um, but yes, and then we got our managers and so we got all that. So that's pretty much what it takes to get a studio featured. You're most likely gonna want somebody to see your studio and be in it and hopefully they will propose it to be featured um obviously not everything's gonna get featured even if it matches this you know criteria i guess you could say but it definitely helps whenever you have something like that going on so that's really that's really it um i hope some of you guys found this helpful um, I hope, hopefully it cleared up, you know, uh, what kind of studios will get featured, 
uh, what it might take to get those featured, and really, really the reason you should want to make a studio. Not, not to get it featured, but, you know, to help people and stuff like that. So that's going to be it for this video. Uh, I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.